it's just another way of locating a point in a plane. See, before when we talked about rectangular coordinates, x and y coordinates, we talked about you know going left or right if it's the x coordinate, up and down if it's the y coordinate. It's kind of like one of those etch a sketches. You can only go left and right, up and down. Here with polar, what we're doing is we're actually talking about a circular way, okay, of locating a point. So we've got r, which is the radius. So you can see this is like polar graph paper here. You're going out to a specific radius, a circle of radius one, a circle of radius two, radius three, and so on. And then you're rotating along that circle a certain number of degrees or a certain number of radians. Remember, positive if it's counterclockwise and negative if it's clockwise. So let's look at some examples together so you can understand how to work with these. So say we wanted to locate point A, it's at three comma 45 degrees. So this means a circle of radius three and an angle of 45 degrees. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here one, two, three, and then I'm gonna rotate 45 degrees right there. That's point A. Now, you might be saying to yourself, Mario, isn't there another way that I can locate this point? Couldn't I like go this direction since it's circular? And you're absolutely right. And another way of locating this point, there's many ways of doing this, an infinite way, uh, ways, uh, matter of fact. But what we could do is we could say, well, this is a negative three. Now, when it's a negative, what we can do is we can go left three. And then since we're gonna go clockwise now, we could go a negative 135 degrees. That's another way of locating that same point. We could also go positive three and then rotate like this. Okay, so how much would that be? Three comma, negative 315, and so on. But what I like to do when it's a negative radius is I like to go first left and then rotate from there. Now, other people, what they like to do is they like to rotate the 135 degrees, uh, let's see, negative, which would be right over here, okay? And then what they'll do is they'll go through this origin, they call that point the pole, and they'll go 180 degrees. But I find that to be a little bit confusing for students, so I like to go you know, left if it's negative and then rotate from there. Let's go to the second example, point B, two comma negative 60. All right, so that means we're on a circle of radius two, negative 60, so negative 60 means what? It means we're going clockwise 60 degrees. That's gonna put you right there, that's point B. Now, what's another way of locating that same point? Well, let's see, how about if we go negative two this time, so that would be negative two, I'm going to the left, and then we're gonna go 120 degrees. You would end up in the exact same point. Or you could do, let's see, you could do positive two and then you could go all the way around like that. So how many degrees would that be? 300, right? So two comma 300 degrees. But the main thing is you've got R and theta, a radius and an angle as opposed to X and Y left and right. We've got a couple more examples. These ones are in radians, but before I do those with you, I just wanted to mention if you're preparing for the ACT or the SAT, check out my huge ACT math review video course or my huge SAT math review video course. We go through numerous examples, numerous formulas. You have an opportunity to practice and we talk about some of the concepts as you would see them on those tests. So check out some of the free previews. A lot of students have taken those courses already and have benefited and raised their scores. So check those out. But let's get into these last two examples. Negative five pi over two. So negative five means I'm gonna to go to circle five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to the left because it's negative. Pi over two, that's a positive angle, which means I'm going counterclockwise, and I'm gonna end up right there, that's point C. What's another way to locate that same point? Well, we could go positive five, so that's going to the right five, and then we could go negative pi over two, that's another way to locate that same point, point. and there's an infinite number of ways. But let's look at the last example, negative one, negative three pi over two. So negative one means we're going left one, and then negative three pi over two means we're going clockwise, and we end up right here, and that's gonna be point D. Of course, you could go, let's see, you could go positive one, and you could just go negative pi over two, but again, remember, if you're going counterclockwise, that's positive, if you're going clockwise, that's negative, and it doesn't matter, you know, if you're going with a negative radius, still clockwise is, you know, um, clockwise is gonna be what? this direction that's negative and counterclockwise is gonna be positive. So I hope that helps you to understand how to work with polar coordinates better. I'm gonna have some other videos talking about how to change forms between rectangular and polar. So check out those videos if you're interested. Subscribe to the channel. Check out more math tutoring videos on my YouTube channel, Mario's Math Tutoring, and I look forward to helping you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.